Hey everybody, this is JP Hunt with Inksoft, and in this video, we're going to give you a sneak peek at a forthcoming and all new reports workspace. Now, this reports workspace will be deployed with CellsDoc. And if you recall, at the beginning of the year, we had uh, shared a customer update to give you insights into this major infrastructure project that we've called CellsDoc, which is really a massive performance update. And the most important thing with CellsDoc is it helps us to add new features and enhancements much quicker to help add more value into the future. So CellsDoc is, is sort of at the end state. We're in the final stages of internal testing, and very soon we'll be making some announcements about beta testing, and you'll be able to opt in to get access to CellsDoc and all the new value that comes with CellsDoc, including this new reports workspace. So without further ado, let's drill in and let me share some key insights in terms of what you can expect from reports, which again is all possible because of the power and potential of CellsDoc. All right, so when you navigate to reports, you'll be delivered to reports home. And this is a default tab that gives you access to default reports. And we'll talk about how to use these in just a moment's time. And right below default reports, you have custom reports. So in this new technology, you'll be able to take a default report and you can customize the data that presents and you can save and access those saved reports. And this is a really handy way to create you know, standard reports that are meaningful to your business, the different departments, the different team members that are part of your organization. So really powerful way to create unlimited custom reports that again help those uh, team members get their job done by accessing the right data at the right time. So here you can see you can access your custom reports. You can favorite reports, and it's possible to see my favorites. So I can really you know, indicate the reports that are meaningful to me in my role. I can see all reports, and of course I can see the reports that I've created. So really powerful way to quickly create, uh, click on a report and have immediate access to the right data again at the right time. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on a default report. And these default reports are a great jumping point. And this jumping point allows you to then customize a default report. And again, you have the ability to export data, you can save data. So we kind of walk you through the workspace here. And we'll begin with the very top, which is the ability to enter in a search term. So here you can search by order, by customer name, by email address. So again, you can find the right information at the right time. Now, one thing I want to point out before I get too much further is notice you can click and create multiple tabbed reporting workspaces. So it's very possible to bounce between different reports using these tabbed workspaces. So this is a really great way to compare data or maybe go deeper with different insights by jumping uh, between these different tabbed workspaces. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna talk about the main workspace, which is the data that presents in these columns. So the first thing I wanna point out, you can drag and drop to reorder the way these columns display. So let's say that you want date order to be the very first column, or you want store name to be the very first column. So what I can do is drag that over to the left or reposition it wherever I want it to display, and I can uh, control uh, the order in which these columns present. Now the other thing you can do here, of course, is you can click on a column to control the sort order. So you can have it ascending or descending. Now, one of my favorite features is you can click on the column icon for each column, and you can do things like pin. So I can choose to pin the column, say, to the left-hand side. So as I scroll through data, that column remains pinned. So you can pin either to the left or the right, or you can choose to, of course, uh, free up that pin altogether. Now, other controls you have here is to auto-size. You can group by, say, store name. So you can consolidate all of the information and organize it by store name to sort of organize logically. You can also filter, so you can really control, again, the data that displays here. So you can you know, sort of opt information in and out. So really powerful way just to sort of organize the information logically for you. And everybody has different preferences, right? So infinitely flexible way to see the data in a meaningful way. Now let me draw your attention over to the right-hand side where there's two important uh, sort of options here as it relates to, again, controlling the information that displays. So we have this notion of columns, and what I'm going to do now is deselect store name. And as I deselect, you can see immediately store name is removed. So columns allows you to, again, opt in the information that does present here. Maybe I, you know, customer phone number is just noise, customer email address is noise. I don't want to see that information. I can control what displays here. So you can see how many columns that you'll have access to. This is all the critical information 
from an order, whether it be an invoice, an online store, or a transaction from the online design tool, you can control the information that displays. Now, one really slick feature is the ability to create what we call row groups. So I can drag a column name into the row group workspace here. And what happens is you'll notice that all of that information is now grouped by store logically. So you can drag and drop a bunch of information into a row group. And again, that's going to sort of bucketize that information in a logical presentation. And then you can sort of opt out. You can remove those items if you want to revert back. So you can see how simple it is to, again, control and really manage the way information is presenting so you can take appropriate action against it. Now, the other control you have here is filters. And as the name implies, this is the ability to constrain and sort of opt in or opt out certain information from displaying. So really powerful tools to, again, present the right information so your team can get the job done. Now, the last thing to call out here, you'll notice at the very top right, you have the ability to export any of your saved and filtered data. Um, you can export it as a CSV file, in which case you can take it offline in Excel or Google Sheets and you can choose to manipulate it and organize it outside of the system if that's your preference. The other thing you can do here is click Save As, in which case you can name a report and again save that report for quick access into the future. These saved reports will save everything that you've customized. So the columns, you know, whether you've pinned columns, you know, filtered, opted columns in and out. Now one uh, sort of pro tip here, you know, these saved reports can become super useful to you and your team. Make sure that you're naming these in a descriptive way so it's easy to understand which report is meaningful to getting the job done at that given time. So be thoughtful about the way you've structured these report names. And also think about taking extra time to train your team. So create clarity and understanding of what these reports mean, how they're useful, when to use them. And make sure to get a feedback loop going with your team to ensure that you're you know, editing and managing those reports to be uh, sort of as optimal as possible. So again, this has been a sneak peek into reports, an all new workspace that's coming in Inksoft. I just want to call out that you'll notice at the very, very top right, you have uh, access to legacy reports. So albeit this is new and substantially improved, we're not taking away the legacy reports. You'll always have access to those for, well, certainly a, a period of time. So if you've relied on you know, the reports that we've always offered, you'll still have access to those as you get sort of trained up and, and used to this new reporting workspace. So again, look forward to a new announcement that we'll make in the Facebook user group that relates to sales doc beta. If you want to participate and get access and get uh, to experience the speed and performance and all the value that sales doc has to offer, including the new reports workspace, make sure to sign up for access to the sales doc beta. Well, thanks for tuning in and watching this uh, you know, sneak peek video. We're really excited to deliver SalesDoc and all the benefits uh, that it will bring not only in the near term, but also, of course, for the future.